If your toilet anchor bolts come with these plastic washers, slide them on the bolts. Position the bolts so each bolt head fits through the large opening in the toilet flange. Turn the head so it won't pop out, then slide it toward the narrow end of the opening. If the bolts come with plastic washers, snug them up. They will help keep the bolts in place when installing the toilet bowl. Peel the protective plastic off the new wax ring. This one comes with a black horn designed to help prevent leakage. Centered on the toilet flange, the wax ring should be at room temperature so the wax can form and seal properly. Line up the bolt holes on the new toilet bowl with the toilet anchor bolts. Set the bowl straight down. Apply pressure and gently rock the bowl back and forth until the toilet sits firmly and level on the floor. Make sure the bowl lines up evenly with the walls. You won't want a crooked toilet. Place the plastic anchor bolt retainer plates or washers on the bolts. Follow package instructions to make sure the correct side faces up, otherwise the plastic covers won't snap on. Add the metal washers and nuts. Tighten until snug, not too tight. You'll crack the porcelain bowl and that, my friend, means you'll be shopping for another new toilet. You can test for floor leaks by pouring several large buckets of water down the bowl. If it leaks, make sure the toilet is resting squarely on the floor. If it is and it still leaks, buy a thicker wax ring and try again. If it still leaks, you may need a new flange. Put the tank gasket on all the way over the large hole in the bottom of the tank. This toilet has three tank bolts that go through these holes. The other two are for the toilet seat. Line up the holes in the tank with the openings in the bowl and position the tank on the bowl. Slide the tank bolts through the holes inside the tank. If the bolts come with separate rubber washers to prevent leaking, put those on the bolts first. Underneath the tank, put the nuts on the toilet tank bolts then hand tighten. You may have to use a screwdriver on the bolt heads inside the tank to keep the bolts from moving. Then make sure the tank is lined up with the wall. You don't want a crooked tank. Double check the nuts to make sure they're snug. Finish tightening carefully with a wrench, but don't over tighten. Remember, the porcelain tank and porcelain bowl can crack. Attach the water supply tube to the toilet tank. Connect the water supply tube to the water shutoff valve. Hand tighten the nut first. Now tighten about three quarters of a turn with a wrench. Don't over tighten. If there is a small drip or leak you can tighten it a bit more later. I have cleaned this removable escutcheon plate and am putting it back in place. Turn on the water. Put a small container beneath the water shutoff valve to catch any drips. You should hear the toilet tank filling. Check the water shutoff valve for leaks. Also check for leaks near the tank bolts and tighten or reposition them if necessary. Time for the inaugural flush. Keep checking everywhere for leaks. The added weight of the tank and water may have caused the bowl to settle, so recheck the toilet anchor bolts. They may need a little tightening, but not too tight. Don't crack your new toilet. Snap the toilet anchor bolt covers in place. Attach the new seat, and my friend, you have successfully installed a new toilet.